Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? You guys having a good time? Yeah. Give it up for David. He's a great MC, huh? Yeah. Uh, I want to start off myself with an apology. Uh, I had planned on uh, spending all weekend um, writing jokes and giving you guys four fresh minutes of Adam Wolf comedy, and I slacked off and said, uh, and I know that the majority of you, probably like 100%, I think, came out to see me, so that was a big move on my part, I apologize. Uh, I had a, a last minute change of plans, and the wife and kids went out of town, and everybody knows that if you have a wife and kids, you don't get home time very often, so I had to take advantage of it. Uh, I didn't do anything uh, productive or, or important or anything, uh, I just slacked off. Uh, for example, on Saturday night, I spent several hours trying to find uh, the Men Seeking Men page on uh, ChristianMingles.com. Uh, it wasn't there. Uh, hopefully the next major site upgrade, you know, cross fingers. I know some of you are thinking, Adam, you just said you had a wife and a kid. Uh, what were you doing on a Christian dating site? Uh, you guys haven't been paying attention to the commercial. It says it's the site for finding God's choice for you. And who am I to argue against God's will? Right? Uh, and, you know, it, it's... If you say it's wrong to uh, uh, mutually masturbate uh, via Skype with a creepy guy in, in Iowa, you're basically saying that uh, Jesus died on the cross for nothing. <laughs> that I didn't masturbate all weekend. Uh, it was about a 70-30 mix. 70% masturbation, 30% everything else. Uh, I watched the news a little bit, and I, uh, I saw some stuff about Israel and the Palestinians, and uh, I'm just tired of it, you know. First of all, stop tweeting these gruesome, horrific, gory pictures of these victims, you know, missing limbs and blood everywhere uh, from these missile attacks and suicide attacks, you know. As y'all know, it's hard enough to maintain an erection in the second hour of an edging session as it is, you know, it's almost impossible. Uh, also, yeah, I think neither side is really interested in actually having peace. There are a bunch of, you know, extremist dickheads that are in charge. Um, and I don't think anybody in America would really care if it wasn't for the religious aspect, you know? And, uh, I think if you took the religious aspect away, nobody would give a shit, and it would kind of be the equivalent of two groups of people <laughs> killing each other uh, over who gets to live in El Paso. <laughs> uh, also, over the weekend, I learned that when I get old, I'm not going to shave, uh, because I shave my balls and learned how hard it is to shave wrinkled areas. <laughs> uh, my wife didn't like it. You know, she appreciated the effort. She didn't like it. Uh, she raised two boys, changed a lot of diapers, so it kind of reminded her of a prepubescent pre boy. You know, she's not a Republican senator, so it's not her thing. Uh, you ever accidentally get shit on your finger, and you start grabbing random stuff, or you wash your hands with hot water and soap, scalding hot water for 20 minutes, you smell your finger, it still smells like shit. So then you start grabbing random stuff in your bathroom, like shampoo, uh, Clorox bleach wipes, uh, Tylex, scrub your hands with that, you smell your finger, it still smells like shit. So then you get desperate, you go online, you Google, you get to hints from Heloise.com, you start doing weird shit like uh, you use coffee grounds, you're sprinkling some lemon juice on your finger, washing it up against a metal spoon, you smell your finger and it still smells like shit. I need to be more careful when I masturbate. <laughs> All right, well, you guys have been a great crowd. Thank you.